dive into it, y'all. Let's dive into it. Let's get to the point. It's the second golf cart I didn't paint it this week. Um, we're gonna just start off the video with what I've done so far. It's so hard to record in the process of projects that got time frames, man. I've been busting. This is my second one this week, like I said. And the first one, I'll drop a picture in the video of how that looked before it came and after it left. Um, yeah, this one came as is. They already, somebody already painted it. Somebody already jumped on it. This, their mask and paper, all that stuff. So I'm going to be sanding all of this down and giving it a fresh start. This is actually going a color that I cannot wait to spray. Um, let's go check it out. We got the cut dog. We got a cutlass right here. This is, a, this is going brandy, candy, wine, brandy, wine, or something like that. Uh, it's a nasty color. I can't wait to spray that too. But this, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll check it out. I ain't going to cut the light on. Well, we're going to check that out in a minute Uh, when we start spraying it. But anyway, so yeah, I'm going to be spraying this one candy. Uh, I got a, I got a lot going on. And um, let's just go ahead and look. Sneak peek right here. Let's do a little sneak peek. Let's do just a little sneak peek. Little sneak peek. Little sneak. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. Do y'all know what that is? Yeah, that's, that's that Pro Charge Daddy right there. Parts laying around. Man, anyways, um, yeah, so this is going, this is going a completely different color. Um, I'm buzzing it down with some 120 grit right now. Um, to get that old. I mean, this is that is rough. Boy! Yeah, anyway, so. I got a lot going on. I actually just I just uh, hopped off this Jeep. Um, I, now I'm going I'm going to talk to y'all for a split second before we actually. Um, I'm not going to record too much because this has to be done tonight, and this has to be done by in, in two days. This has to be done in two days. So um, I, I did go ahead and start by taking the door panels off. So I just have to literally take the headlights and taillights off, and then debadge it, scuff it, shoot it, paint it. Uh. I mean, mask it, of course, go do the obvious steps, but this right here, man. Oh my gosh. Um, let's, let's chop it up. Let's chop it up. Really should have, I really should have started off this video by saying, um, uh, just words of encouragement on whatever you're doing. You got to stay consistent. You got to believe in yourself. Um, you got to remember sometimes when you, when you working on yourself or when you got a, got something going on for yourself, whether you, um, a ball player, whether you are, Selling t-shirts, got to eliminate stand. Whatever you're doing, you got to stay consistent and you got to believe in yourself. Don't rely on anybody else to motivate you to be somewhere in life. And um, and when you do start it, consistency. Anybody can start something. Hell, I've started a ton of stuff, but I wasn't consistent. Um, but with this situation, I'm consistent. And with me being consistent and believing in myself and, and staying focused and making tons and tons of sacrifices and understanding and embracing that you're going to go through shit down that road of success. You're going to go, I don't know, not one person that's successful that didn't have to go through a lot of shit besides somebody that had a ton of hand-me-downs or shit that was given to them. And nine times out of ten, sometimes the people that, that just silver spoon type, they don't appreciate half the stuff they got. But when you start something from the bottom and work your way up, and you appreciate you tend to appreciate it more versus you know somebody if somebody give me a car i might treat it like shit but if i work and grind for my car and i get it that's how i'm gonna treat it it's the same thing with the business with you being successful all of that good stuff but my point is you gotta be consistent in whatever you do and you gotta believe in yourself because you never know who's watching you never know um where it might go whether you had that lemonade stand for a year straight a year and a half later, you might have somebody that's like, hey, I want to sponsor. Hey, I want to do this. Hey, I want to do that. Um, you never know. And my point is that Jeep, that's the first celebrity vehicle that I've painted. Yes, I'm not going to tell y'all who it is right now just because we got to keep it low key. But just know that's that's a that's a that's a. If I said his name, y'all all probably 90 yeah, percent of y'all are probably know him. But my that's my point my point is i never i didn't even dream this far i didn't even think about oh i'd probably be painting a a, a celebrity's car you know what i'm saying i'm gonna be real he's an nfl player let's just leave it at that we'll leave it at that he's an nfl player so um that's my point my point is believe in yourself i never in a 
I'm gonna be a thousand with you. I never thought that I would be painting anybody that's that's that high up. I just didn't think that far. Only thing I thought of was I'm gonna have a shop and I'm gonna be painting cars. So, like I said, you gotta you gotta stay consistent. You gotta focus. You gotta believe in yourself. I'm not. I can't. I can't express that enough. I can't. And me doing that. Me do y'all with y'all along with this journey with me. And and y'all watching it and I'm just documenting it and y'all seeing it. This ain't it ain't like I just been doing this. I I only I only been painting for a year, a year and a few months. So this is completely new. So y'all seeing this too. Y'all experiencing this too. And I appreciate every last one of my subscribers. I appreciate everybody that even watches, likes, dislike. I can't say that enough. So um I'm mad excited. Uh, I will, I will let y'all know. We can go, let's matter of fact, let's go look how it look. Let's go look how it look. All right. Got some black with a little red pearl in there. We ain't gonna show y'all too much now. We ain't gonna, oh, I got a little sticker I gotta take off. We ain't gonna show y'all too, too much now. But that's how we looking, that's how we looking. That's how we looking, man. So, uh, I don't wanna expose too much of it. Anyways, we got the, uh, <laughs> We got Miss Daisy over here looking gorgeous. Um, this is be getting buffed uh, Sunday in about two days. So, um, yeah, man. And, and like I said, like I said, she's, she's tough. Anyways, uh, like I said, man, you never know where life is going to take you, where earth is going to take you, where the most high is going to take you. You never know. You never, ever know. And like I said, I did not know I would be um, elevating so fast. Um Real quick, like I said, this car came from Kansas. We doing we doing this bad boy blue. It's a nice blue. We're gonna keep the hood. We're gonna keep the tops of the vehicle black. Um, Camaro is going a completely different color. Now the green that he got for this Camaro, he said I can go ahead and keep it. He wants to change the color and go with a different one. So we applying that green over here so, uh, on this golf cart. So I'm super excited about that. This Malibu is not mine, this is my cousin's. Um, yeah, man, it's it's definitely a blessing. That's my cousin's vet. Um, people with this from from Atlanta. Um, let me go ahead and I don't know. I'm, you know, I gotta get you know, done. Safety first. Safety first. Let me go ahead and get this bad. My little pocket rocket. This the hood to that bad boy. The Jeep as well. You know, something slight. A little 380. But yeah, man, you never know. You never know where 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 the most high will take you, and it's such a blessing. Cause like I said, I never, I didn't even imagine, I didn't even imagine me even painting a legit celebrity car. It's it's such a such a blessing. As a matter of fact, and what it was, he seen that Hellcat that I painted, that that matte red Hellcat that I painted. I painted a matte red Hellcat, and y'all go check out my channel. Y'all go like that video for me. Um, he he saw that I painted that, and I did, and I. And I felt like I did a damn good job on that. And and you got to think, uh, work from months ago got me uh, a Jeep. And it's a celebrity's Jeep. So, um, yeah, I can't I can't thank the most high enough. So tonight we're going to hop on this bad boy right here. Um, like I said, it came in like this. We're going to buzz it down, get rid of this rough bed liner. I don't know why it's so rough. That's crazy. Like they painted it in a garden. No, I'm just messing around. <laughs> My work is far from the best. Um, y'all gonna y'all gonna watch kind of somewhat of the process on this. We're gonna get ready to go ahead and get started. Um, back this bad boy. Uh, take that bad boy out, and then we'll get into it. Uh, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, it's prime time, man. As y'all can see, got the prime loaded up. The PSI looking at about nine.
right, this is how we looking, man, with the base on there. Looking pretty damn sharp. Um, I noticed, it kind of scared me because when I was spraying it, I was like, man, this shit look better in the can. But um, I realized I ain't even clear it yet. So still got to clear it, as y'all can see. Um, but overall, um, to be honest, looks better on camera right now. We still have not cleared it yet. We still have not cleared it. So um, hopefully I get that candy, that candy type look. I know it's not candy, but um, damn, it does look, it does look really, really good. I ain't gonna lie, I'll give it that. So I can't wait to check it out how it, how it looks um, after the clear coat has been laid. Um, came out really good, this, this, but when it came in, this thing was terrible. Um, it actually got dropped off before before I even got the chance to look at it. So I had already uh, gave him a, a pretty good deal on it. But when I looked at it, felt it, man, it was just definitely probably should have, I could, could have charged, I should have charged him an extra, extra probably $50. Because uh, I did have to burn through a box of sandpaper. Because um, it was just so gritty, so rough, texture after texture. When I laid that, um, the silver, I had to buzz back over it one more time um, in some areas. Then I relayed the silver. So, yeah. Other than that, man, we about to go ahead and lay this clear coat down within the next two minutes. Um, let this flash out a little bit more. Take a look at it, man. It's 5.04 in the morning. About to call it a night. Damn! She's looking good, man. She's looking good. So yeah, uh, I got I will I will figure out what color this is. Um like I said, I didn't pick it out. I didn't pick this color as far as buying it. Um the customer for the, the Camaro, he was the one that actually um went with this color then changed his mind uh, it's got small little slight imperfections in it but for a go-kart this damn thing looks really good it's like a margarita color or something i don't know but yeah man i'm gonna wrap it up for this video uh call it a night man i'm i'm tapped out nose is stuffy so yeah man y'all tell me what how y'all feeling about this particular project right here man Yes, sir. Uh, got the Dodge Charger going in tomorrow. Where'd you go? Oh, I backed it out of here. Um, yeah, so trying to roll these cars in. 
throw these cars in and then call it a night, man. Dodge Charger, busted that down. Door panels are off. Uh, I think I did lock it. I think I just locked it. Oh, I got the key in my pocket. So, door panels is off. This is ready to go. Um, Not ready to go, Uh, but I'm going to prime them spots. And then we'll hit the brake calibers uh, and then paint this bad boy blue. Um, other than that, let these bad boys, uh, let this uh, golf cart dry, cool off. We'll pick back up on it in the morning. Uh, not too early. I'm going to sleep. So it's about 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Probably get out here about 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock around that time and then get back to work. So, yeah, this is it, man. This is it. How we looking put together it's the next day man it's three o'clock i've been out here probably since like 12. yeah about 12 o'clock so um had about five six hours of sleep um, got a little bit of rest the little that i could but um up next man we gotta bust this this bad boy out this gotta be done by tomorrow tomorrow evening real really night so we're gonna have a long night man as y'all can see as y'all can hear i'm tired but like i said the only reason i'm doing this um hitting it this hard is because i want to have at least three or four days to just chill and rest phone on do not disturb uh yeah and just spend time with the family gotta gotta be able to distribute time with the family and even friends so yeah uh that's how we looking man this thing this thing came out sharp i love this color now that it's on something definitely love this color in the sun at least Woo! damn Customers on the way. Another satisfied customer. It's actually the same customer that dropped off the, the gray one to me. So, yeah. Other than that, man, the Jeep is out of here. He puts the Jeep out. Um, yeah, I can I can, I can, can breathe now. I've been holding my breath. So, y'all stay tuned, man. We got more content coming. So y'all make sure y'all... Ooh, look at that, man. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>